We are talking about points per shot value this week. A measure of efficiency. Who knows how to calculate field goal percentage? Well, I know. How do, you, how do you do it? How many shots you make versus how many shots you take. Perfect. So this is similar, but it's points yeah. scored, so it's point scored minus the... divided by field goal attempts. And we're taking out free throws yeah, to keep this focused on field goal. That's what Jackson's getting at. So minus the free throws. Points minus free throws divided by field goal attempts. Similar to how you calculate field goal percentage, but this gives you a measure of efficiency because field goal percentage doesn't tell you how well you did in twos versus threes. You don't have a good way to compare different shots. Um, and so, yeah, you can use it to compare team to team, play to play within a team, player to player, shot to shot between you and yourself on different shots as a player. And what I showed you on the video is actually analysis of the Celtics. Yeah, like... This is a little bit uh, lopsided paint, but I mean, yeah. the, uh, the no shot zone is what we call long twos, which is basically this space that in the NBA is from 24 feet into about 15, 17 feet, where you shoot the same percentage here as you do behind the three but it's only worth two points, right? And so what I use this for is to give us a seven shot priority list, which I think was in the third video, if you got that far, to, walk, to list the top priorities. And this also gets into whether it's contested or not. So what we wanna to get to is the best space to shoot and the least contested shot possible. So why are threes worth more? Farther away from the basket, they're less likely to be contested. Why are layups worth more? Because they're the closest. To the they're the closest, player. right? And so there's a balance in between. So we end up with really high value shots. The NBA, I was talking through this with Kelton. The NBA has their three point line cut off. So it's two feet closer in the corner here than the rest of the arc. And so you'll actually see, they call it the break. You'll see their percentage way higher in here than above here, right? So they're about 37% up here, and they have the, the one corner was 44%, right? They got a hot spot right there. And then in the paint, they were 67%, right? So we have 60, I think it was 64 point, or 63.7 actually, 64%, remembering my, remembering my math, 64 and 37 out here. Um, so if you calculate, this times three is what? 1.11 PPS is what we use for acronym, points per, points per shot, right? So that's 1.11. How much is this? Because of our two points, it's 64 times two is what? 1.28 points per shot. Now, this zone is about 44% from what the Celtics did which is really good because they're the Celtics in the NBA, right? We don't expect our percentage for you guys to be the same. It's only 0 0.88. Which is why for the Celtics, they don't go over there and face their hot bodies the same accuracy. Just... Right. Although last night, they were, not <laughs> they were shooting a lot of these. Yeah. Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown off the dribble, take 12 seconds ISO, and then end up with one of those, one of those fadeaway shots and missing. Will, hold the ball, please. So, if you had a choice, which of these shots do you want first? Probably layups. Layups. Right? I didn't write the label next to them, but layup. Three-point. And mid-range. So, how would we rank them? Layups first. This is one. This is two. This is three. Okay, so then we get into contest or uncontested, right? Which just makes the biggest difference. So I recommend you go watch the third video. If you don't watch any others, you'll get the idea from this list. So uncontested layup. I'm just going to put U for uncontested. Layup would be number one. What's the second highest value shot? You sure? Uh, wait. Hi highest. 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 Yeah, Kelton's on to it. 
free throws, I actually put second, which gives us some interesting uh, dynamics. We remove free throws when we're calculating all of our shots from a game. But the free throw, the whole goal of this calculation is to make everything equivalent to a two-point shot. Yeah, so. so two free throws means you get two chances to make up the same number of points as a two-point shot. So that means if you shoot 50% on two shots, you're going to average one point for that possession is how we would call it. Right? And so anybody know what their free throw percentage is for their current season or past season? From our middle school, it's probably like 75. 75. So if we take Kellen at 75% times two shots gives us what? Uh, 150. Right. 1.5 points per shot. Now... Even if you shoot 40% from three-point land, which would be really good, yeah. on an uncontested shot, which makes that more likely, you're only going to get what? Uh, 0.8. No. Because it's worth three. Uh, it's three times 40%. 1.2. So that's why I make free throws higher yeah. than uncontested three-point is 1.2. Right? What would be next? Yeah, you mid -range. Uncontested mid-range, very astute. So this is where mid-range is helpful. A lot of people say, don't ever take a mid-range ever for whatever reason. But if you have a really good defensive team, yeah. you're not going to have an open three, and there's going to be a lot of people contesting you at the rim. So if you can get Obviously. open space, like we worked on last week, creating some space for yourself to take a shot, mm -hmm. then this is an uncontested hole. That's where our mid-range shot fits in. But we just want to remember it's option four, right? We got three other things we could do. And the cool thing I like is that if you're going for layups, you're going to also get more free throws as you're attacking the rim and getting fouled, right? So like those two are like attacking the paint first, and then we get spacing to get three. So then we just kind of repeat the list in sequential order for contested, right? Contested layup. Now, what I typically go for is about half the percentage. So if you made, let's say you made 90%, like nobody's around, even fast break, you're going to make 90%. You're going to brick some, just whatever happens. You're going to miss once, once in a while, but not many. Contested, somebody's there bothering you, even if they don't block you or foul you, you're going to miss twice as many. So you're going to get only 45, which means 0 0.9 points per shot. Really good. Yeah, so is still pretty good <laughs> and still better than what the Celtics do from mid-range. Right. This is their average, by the way, between all shots. So some contested, some uncontested, we average out to that. Right. But even a contested layup, because we're getting closer range, we're going to make more of them and still get 0.9. So then what's number six? Contested three point. And what percentage do we expect there? No, 22. Depends. Depends on if we're saying like the Celtics like corner or... If we're we said this was 40%, so let's just take half of that. What would that be? 20%. 20%. What am I getting 0.75 from? Uh, I think you're looking at... Free you throw. had free throws, yeah. or if it was 25% you were making from three, that would make 0.75 total. Yeah. So 20% equals 0 0.6. 0.6. And then what's the last one? Contested... Mid-range. What does that give us? What's uncontested mid-range? If if yeah, three, if three point uncontested was forty, yeah, saying, what's mid-range? We're saying our age is probably fifty. Fifty. I'd say fifty. Yeah, fifty percent. Which means we got one point per shot, one point oh, which is what we want if we're doing that. If we get contested mid-range and it's half. Right, it's 25%. You gotta differentiate percent from the value. 25% times two points is 0 0.5. So, my whole advice to you guys is scratch that off your list and don't take those shots. If you have to take a mid range and it's contested, don't do it. Give it up, get it back, create space, do a step back, re attack the room. Like, really, anything else you can do across the whole spectrum of seven shots is better than taking a contested mid-range shot.